Hey what's up guys welcome back to our channel so in this video I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how you can transfer any stocks from any brokerages into Webull but before we begin if you're new to the channel my name is Dredd and I post personal finance and dividend investment videos and currently I am documenting my journey in paying off my student loans so if you're interested in seeing how everything unfold or you just want to show your support then definitely subscribe to the channel and also like this video so that it helps with the algorithm because that helps with the channel grow as well so with that out of the way let's get back to the video so if you've been thinking of transferring your stocks into Webull for quite some time now then this is definitely the video that you need to watch now there are a lot of reasons why you would want to do that switch but I would list in this video my reasons why I'm doing this or I did this for the most part of my investing journey my main platform has been TD Ameritrade it was my biggest platform and it was the platform that I started with so I pretty much owe a lot of thanks to TD Ameritrade for introducing me to the world of investing you know dividend investing as well even penny stocks you know I have started there because of TD Ameritrade I was able to learn more about the world of investing investing especially in the stock market and since then I've tried four different platforms for investing the first one was stash which was the very first mobile investing platform that I've really tried and then I went into a course pretty much the spare change rounding up platform that you can use to kind of it's a very good app for beginners and then I was introduced to Robinhood which I actually have an account but I never really tried uh, using the app or using it as an investment vehicle as well and then we are going to Weeble which was the latest uh, app that I've uh, tried and pretty much where I fell in love with and with Weeble I've been able to do a lot of things very easily and because of the easy interface of Weeble I've pretty much wanted to just like stick with it and this is where we are right now so I've been thinking of moving my stocks into Weeble so that I can just manage all my stock positions or all my portfolios basically in just one platform so I don't have to like look at TD Ameritrade all the time and then go back to Weeble as you've seen in my videos and that's pretty much the main reason why I wanted to do a switch I wanted to manage all of my positions in just one platform and then also it's because the app actually makes it very easy for a lot of investors just like me to understand what's really happening in the market however there has been one main reason why I was very hesitant in doing a switch and that was because there is a fee associated whenever you do an account transfer now depending on your brokerage there will be fees ranging from $50 to maybe even $100 and maybe even more I don't know what fees they are associated with but for TD Ameritrade there was around $75 for an account transfer however during november webull was offering a promotion where if you transfer your stocks to any of your previous platforms or brokerages into their platform they will actually reimburse you for that account transfer fee and even give you some stocks for free as well now depending on how much you are actually going to transfer to them uh, they were going to give you different types of rewards but in my case there was only around four thousand to five thousand dollars worth of me to actually transfer into Webull, so i only got the reimbursement for that now for now i haven't still gotten the reimbursement because i still have to actually uh, do the paperwork necessary to actually get that reimbursement but I will be working on that one and this is what the process of actually transferring your stock into Webull will look like all right so if you open your Webull app right here as you can see um, I'm in the dashboard and if you go to the bull icon here uh, all you got to do is go to the more section right here and then press transfer if you want to make it easier then definitely go to the, just go to the transfer right here as you can see here and then after that you can press the transfer stocks into Webull now you can also transfer stocks out of Webull but this is a video where you transfer stocks into Webull now so go ahead and uh, click transfer stocks into Webull and let it load and then after that it will pretty much like do a lot of these things uh, as you can see there is like an information regarding my transfer uh, stock transfer as you can see I submitted it during uh, November during the promotion time it was around 1126 or November 26 and then after that they reviewed it on the 1st of December and then cleared it on the 2nd of December and then pretty much completed it on the same day as well so it, it actually is pretty quick so around I would say like around a week you know I think that's pretty fast for me anyway but as you can see here the positions 
everything has been put into uh, Webull now. Now, one of the main reasons that I was also kind of uh, hesitant was that uh, the transfer type, as you can see here, is only partial. And that's because I didn't do a full uh, transfer of my entire account because in my TD Ameritrade account, there was around $580 left. That one is just really cash. There's nothing, uh, I wasn't holding any more positions there. 500 was my uh, reserve money for my plans to open an IRA. And then around $80 was basically uh, kind of like change from the partial uh, shares that I own in TD Ameritrade because in Webull, you cannot own any partial shares. So when I did the transfer, as you can see here, uh, I can only transfer like full shares. So I transferred everything and whatever was left, uh, whatever partial share was left in TD Ameritrade, TD Ameritrade sold it completely or cleared it anyway. And then that was the result. Uh, for that uh, clearing, there was change left there in my TD Ameritrade account. But obviously, if you're watching this video for the very first time, then definitely this is not the case for you. Everything will be new to you and then this entire screen will be very different. So let's go ahead and request another stock transfer. And this is what you will see. You will pretty much see a notice from them. Only list listed US stocks, ADRs, and ETFs are accepted. We will support individual cash, margin accounts, and traditional IRAs, Roth IRAs, and rollover IRAs only. And the name and the type of the delivering account. Now, in this case, is TD Ameritrade for me and then must be identical to the receiving account's name and type, okay? So transfer may be delayed if your outgoing account type differs from your legal account. And there's more and more and more. Your broker may charge you $75 for transferring out the specific amount of various by brokers, like I said earlier. In order to protect our customers, Weeble does not support account transfers or as below $500 due to the high transfer costs, which kind of makes sense. Imagine if you're actually just transferring around $500 worth for your account and then the $75 would just pretty much eat everything, you know. You just lost like around, I don't know, like 20-ish percent of your account value there, so that's crazy. The alternative cost-free option is to liquidate your position at your broker, pull the funds to your bank, and deposit those funds to Weeble, which also makes sense. However, if you do want to just keep uh, the average price of your shares, pretty much keep everything intact, then just do your uh, trans account transfer. If you can stomach the $75 a transfer fee, then go ahead and do that. Now, if you full, choose full transfer, all your assets, including all positions and cash, will be transferred to Webull. Please note that only US dollars are accepted and make sure the securities being transferred are tradable on Webull. So those things are some of the things that you have to consider before you do your transfer to Webull. Now, if those things you agree, now go ahead and transfer to Webull and look for your uh, broker. Now, in my case, let's just say it's TD Ameritrade. Broker name, TD Ameritrade. Oh, and boom, as you can see here, TD Ameritrade is right over here. I, I click that one, and then you choose the delivering type. It's only an individual account, your name, uh, you put in your account number, and then your transfer type. Now this one, in it could be a full transfer, whatever you choose, or a partial transfer. Now, once you select a partial transfer, you put in the cash amount. Uh, if you have any cash uh, left on your other account um, that you want to actually transfer into Google, then this is where you put it. Now, four positions you add all the positions that you have. So it is best that you know how much positions that you have in that account, your uh, delivering account, right? And then after that, put it in. Now. And remember, only full shares can be transferred in here. You cannot do any partial shares into Weibo. So add everything together. And then after that, you just press this or tap this uh, checkbox right here and then submit your stock transfer request. And after that, you are pretty much done with the process. All you have to do is really wait when they will actually uh, review the process, clear everything, and then pretty much put everything into Weeble. Now, when, once that happens, uh, you will see a lot of uh, difference from your positions. Now, one of the things that you need to like really think of is that when you get your new stocks or you transfer your uh, other stocks into Weeble, it will be very different from you know if you have any history because technically they won't have any history with Weeble. So, for example. These are my positions right now. Now, if we actually look at, let's just say SCHH, this is basically one of the stocks that I've transferred from TD Ameritrade. And as you can see here in the positions, one of the first things that you will notice is that the market value or the total cost might be very different. So 
it actually is something that you would have to be wary about because you might be freaking out like this data does not seem right so that's just something that you you have to just look at uh, or be kind of like uh, be aware whenever you do your transfer to Weibo and that's pretty much it guys once uh, everything is done like I said just wait uh, until everything is completed and then you can start trading your new or old positions in Weibo and then you're good to go and that's pretty much it guys this video is very quick uh, there aren't a lot of things that you have to actually do and this is what I really like about this process it's very fast uh, everything can be done just on your phone so it's very convenient and it's very easy so thank you so much for watching guys if you have any questions then let me know in the comments down below and if you have any suggestions for new topics that i can discuss and create videos for in my channel then definitely write and ask them here on the comments below as well and then of course subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and like this video or share this video to any of your friends who actually need to transfer their stocks into Weibo and also if you are on Instagram I am at Daily Dread uh, you can chat with me there you can add me up there as well so that we can exchange some ideas and talk about you know whatever you want to talk about especially in the stock market or anything about financial freedom I would really love to talk about that because I love to learn more about that from different people so thank you so much for watching I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next video. Bye.